Hello, it's Mike from musicradiocreative.com. In this video, I'll show you how to create free vocoder style effects in Adobe Audition that sound like this. Coming up at the end of October 2018, I'm hosting my first ever in-person Adobe Audition training workshop over two days. If you'd like to learn more and possibly attend, visit mrc.fm slash learn. Now, let's learn about vocoding in Adobe Audition, something you can't really do natively. Although there are so many fantastic onboard effects, there's not a vocoder. So, you can go and download a free one by going to mrc.fm forward slash tal vocoder. That's mrc.fm forward slash tal vocoder. We'll take you to this page where you can download either the PC or the Mac version. Then you go through, follow the instructions, install it on your computer. Once you've done that and installed your plugin and gone into the effects menu and run the audio plugin manager, you should find that Tal Vocoder 2 plugin is available either as VST or AU, depending if you're Mac or PC. Uh, and then you can start to have some fun. So let's just start a new audio file. I'll record something like this. Mike Russell. There you go. There's my voice originally saying my name. Mike Russell. I'm going to normalize that. I'm just going to do a fade in and fade out at the end so we haven't got any extra noise. Mike Russell. Okay, that will work for this purpose. And then we go into the effects audio units. We look for our Tal Vocoder 2 plugin. This is what it looks like. But now I want to put it into action. Mike Russell. It's not doing much at the moment apart from degrading the quality of the voice. So what do you do? Well, on the left channel, you have a carrier signal and the right is the signal that you're modulating. For example, your voice. Very important when you're using this plugin that you have this button here enabled, input mode on, otherwise it won't work and you'll get silence from it, okay? By default, that button is off. So switch it on. <laughs> now I'll show you how it works. Uh, so we're going to mute out the right channel. We're going to delete the audio from the left channel. And we're going to generate, for this example, a very simple tone over here. So usually by default, we're on 440 hertz sine wave. I'm just going to change this to 60 hertz down in the bass region. Let's have a listen. There you go. You can hardly hear that. It's very bassy. Change it to square. That's an aggressive style of waveform. Let's listen now. Oh, yes. Ground loop. Here we go. <laughs> Click OK and uh, let's have a listen. There's the ground loop. There's the Mike Russell. And the vocoder is literally a voice encoder. You are encoding the vocal uh, sounds with uh, another sound, like um, ground time in this case. Uh, so effects, audio units, uh, Tal and then Tal Vocoder 2 plugin. It might be under the VST menu if you're on PC. Back to default, just to show you from default. First thing you do to get it working is switch that button on, okay? If it's not on, silence, nothing. Button on, and suddenly... Mike Russell. Well, that's sounding good. And the S volume is one to pay attention to this dial here. Turn it up. Mike Russell. Ooh, you get terrible sibilance, so whack that down a bit. Mike Russell. It just reduces that sibilant sound. Click apply, and then we are going to... Uh, well, first of all, we'll normalize it. And then we'll compress the heck out of it using a quick single band compressor. That looks good. Mike Russell. Favorites normalize. Mike Russell. And finally, I'm going to go into effects. I'm going to use a plugin from Waves Audio. Love Waves plugins. If you want to get a 10% discount, go to mrc.fm forward slash waves and grab something like Metaflanger uh, that can add an even more robotic sound like this. Mike Russell. Nice scanning in stereo. Blur. Mike Russell. Wow, you can have so much fun. Doubler. Mike Russell. That one's okay. Let's go for fast rotor. Always a good laugh. Mike Russell. Mike Russell, all that kind of cool stuff. So free vocoding in Adobe Audition, mrc.fm forward slash Tal Vocoder to get the free plugin and try it for yourself. Let me know how you get on. Maybe even post some comments with links to your examples in the Music Radio Creative community. I would love to listen to what you managed to come up with using a free encoder vocoder inside Adobe Audition. <laughs>